First try, let's go. I guess I'm gonna be starting off every episode with a training course run. Oh, I'm okay with that. It'll make me better. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, to the Let's Play, by the way. This is Dallas. We're in the SSSC. Wait, was that right? No, 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 that's not right. SSS. Uh, Slime Science Space Agency, as you can tell. <laughs> Things are looking stable here. Soon we'll send the rover out to the actual Mars. You know what I want to do? I want to go gather a crap ton of clay. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, if we check my handy dandy notebook here, uh, uh, somewhere in here, it's uh, right here. Just kidding. It's right here. 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 Oh, here it is. <laughs> Above ground lush cave. Lots of clay. So we're going there. Rest in peace, Buster. Ah! Never pass up hay bales. Know what a good idea is, since I'm out collecting clay, why not come to this guy and do this? What the? I'm way out here and I got an OG village? I said I'm way out here and got an OG village? I said I'm way out here and got an OG village? I said I'm out here and got an OG... Okay. Villagers are hard of hearing. That's the only thing they can say, huh? It's like me to my girlfriend. Oh! Is that what I'm looking for? Negative 33, 30, Oh, it's right here. Wow, would you look at that? Heck yeah. Okay, after spending all of last night in here, all of last night, we have this much brick. <laughs> I think maybe like six stacks is from trading, so, I mean, this is enough to start something, which I guess we're gonna do that, because if I collected all this and I'm not gonna do anything with it, that would be stupid. I actually want to build a factory, uh, which sounds absurd because I have an unfinished factory that I started building in back in like 2015. That one, I should probably just, actually it is, actually, oh, wait a minute. This thing doesn't even need any more brick. The brick is finished. It's just like a few small details. And eh, we're about that another time. <laughs> but I've sort of been craving a brick factory look. And if you didn't know, I actually started on one a while ago down here, but I couldn't really get an idea up and I'm still picturing it down here, so maybe I will. All right, I'm building something else completely. <laughs> Gathered all that brick for nothing. No, I'll use it eventually, but uh, I, <laughs> I wanna build something here. I forgot I was really wanting to build a new hospital. So as you know, we do have a hospital, but for how big this town is getting, I want a larger hospital. This is gonna be more like a clinic or just a, there's a small place to go. That's where I manufacture some health potions. But uh, yeah, this is a strange spot, isn't it? But this has always been a bare spot that I didn't know what to do with. And I'm like, why not just build a building here? So this is where our main hospital is going to be. I kind of like it being over this way because I want it to be tied with Slime Sign Center, of course. So uh, yeah, I'm trying to come up with some modern designs, lots of round shapes. So let's just get building. What do you got, Bob? Ah. Eh, mediocre, come back later. How's she looking? Very futuristic, but I, <laughs> it kind of fits next to this because it has like a big crazy window on it, but I'm liking this. It's looking more like something that belongs in an airport. No, I can see this being a hospital. I was thinking it might go one more glass around the top. No, I think that'd be too much. Might keep it right there. I'm gonna build some more buildings on the top. I'm actually digging this, but I haven't even thought about what the inside's gonna look like. Like, at all. This place is taking forever. <laughs> Look how big it's gonna be. Oh man. But I'm really liking how it's turning out. From the front here, I made some sort of round office. I don't remember what I showed you last, but uh, yeah. I'm doing a lot of round rooms in this because these are going to, well, this might be an office or it just might be a waiting area. But I know down here for sure, this round room, that's gonna be an office. Don't know where the surgery rooms are gonna be or anything like that. I'm. Probably shooting myself in the foot by completely making the outside first. No, I'll be fine with that. I'm giving myself enough room here, but uh, I'm at least just trying to get the complete outside finished first. I don't think I'll start on the inside today, but as you can see, I got a lot to go. Oh gosh, gotta cook my meat like a peasant now. For some reason, my meat building, this one, 
with the evil sign on the back, is it's weird. So I repopulated my cows up here. Well, I'm just going to test it now. When I did it, there were no baby cows down here. They didn't move. I slaughtered a lot of these because it was just, I, I thought it wasn't working anymore. Okay, we're going to breed them up. Wow, I don't have many cows in here at all. Yeah, what the heck? What happened to this? The, the baby cows don't fall down here anymore, which really sucks. So that means Minecraft must have changed something to hitboxes or something. Because I was normally to fit like 50 cows in here, grown cows. But now there's only maybe like 15 cows up here. And they won't let the babies through because their hitboxes are so strong. So this thing is just pointless now. <laughs> Gotta love Bug Rock Edition. Okay, uh, this place. You got, I just keep taking a step back to see how much I hate it. But I'm, I actually love it, okay? The only thing I don't like is this right here. I thought it would look cool, but it's it's sort of an eyesore. So picture it without it. And we got like a lot of nice smooth lines. So I might get rid of this and maybe do even a small version of that. I'm not really sure yet, but uh... I got all of the back made. It's not as pretty, but it does have that futuristic look to it. I'm really psyched about this. And then on the inside, I didn't even mean for this to happen, but all of this area, these are gonna be like the perfect surgery rooms. I got the perfect height going. I already got the ceiling and floor made. So all of this is gonna be like a surgery section up here. Maybe can be like rehabilitation of some sort. And then down here, it's just gonna be somewhat nice with some doctor offices. How's that looking? That look better? Oh, wow. Okay. That looks a lot better. I just shortened the glass and then copied the same sort of round roof design as that. Ooh. Yeah, I do like that. I don't know if I'm going to go any higher, to be honest. I haven't really decided that. I don't think I need to. It looks... I'm, I'm really liking it. Is this good enough? Probably not. Never in my life in this world did I think I would have to go mining for so much diorite. None is left in any chest anywhere in my world can you guess where i'm at i bet you can't <laughs> look at this i thought i had chests down well i do have chests down here as you can see but i've been on oh i do have so oh i do have some gravel down here but uh yeah i think i've came down here many times before looking for diorite none left should i take the test if i remember the code Uh, there. Nope. They all down. No. You see, this is actually a hard test right here, if you don't remember, and I don't remember at all. Oh, gosh. Wait. I'm not leaving here until I get this. Oh, wait, can't I? There it is. Put them all down. <laughs> oh, my gosh, and I forgot we put some trim on it it looks so good from here oh if you didn't know i've already beat this and i've retrieved the armor to put the trim on it but uh yeah i don't think i'm ever going to I wonder if i i'm just gonna try it just for funsies i have my electric wings on <laughs> okay retrieve the armor what's it called ancient wolf okay yeah i was surprised i actually got this that one time oh <laughs> i almost died i can do this Ah, uh, no! What? Ah, ah, ah! Oh, oh, half a heart. I could have dropped everything in the lava. I gotta get out of here. Okay, I am still here slaving away on this thing. Uh, I decided to go ahead and start working on the interior a little bit. It's, it's coming along kind of, not the first floor. Not at all. I have a staircase, but I like, I don't know, does it make sense to have a grand staircase in a hospital? Probably not. I'm assuming this lower floor is just gonna be offices of some sort that's not really decided could put a big painting there but i've mainly been working right here trying to figure out the floor plan which i kind of like as you can see we got a giant hole right here but we got all these different areas that can be surgery rooms like there's this could be a big operation room same as this one this can be like a little maintenance closet uh this might be a resting spot another big surgery room could go there and this could be like a special kind of surgery room where maybe certain experiments are done. And then I realized, after all this, I didn't even make a staircase to the third floor yet. 
This might be Skylight, so I'm keeping that there, but uh, honestly, my brain is hurting here. I, we've done a lot here today. I'm just gonna give this a rest for now. We'll come back to this another time, and yes, we will. Because I want to finish this, but I just need a little break from it. What the heck? Bug Rock Edition? Reese Myers? Are you kidding me? Please do not tell me you go on- you do. Oh my gosh. There's absolutely no way he can get out other than bugs. That's just wonderful. Yeah, his gates are closed. Unless he did something like this, which I doubt. Oh my gosh, I hate putting villagers in spaces and I have to do it. He's gonna run off. Oh my god. Where are you going, Reese? Come on. Let's get you back home. Speaking of, I should probably get someone else out today. It's been an episode or two since I've got someone out. Stay. Okay? How did... I don't... I don't know how he got out. Just stay. <laughs> I'm out here building something. <laughs> this is just going to be a small trailer I put a villager in. Because... This area out here is supposed to look like... Kind of rough. As you can tell, all I have is crates out here. This is going to be somewhat similar to a crate. It's going to look more like a trailer. I kind of want it to look high-tech, too. Like, maybe he is outlawed from the city for whatever reason. There we go. That's a cool little high-tech building. It almost feels like, you know what, I might do that. I might put an iron golem in here instead of a villager because, as you know, that's the whole concept of this out here. As you can see right there, I have a no iron golems allowed. Do I have any in this city, actually? I don't think I do. But if I do put any in the city, they gotta be like hidden, like they're illegally there. So yeah, anyway, that's the whole purpose behind these people here. There's all my T1I people, which if you didn't know the lore behind it is these golems, as you can tell by this area here. This is Brendan Ten Half. They have become self-aware in my world, and the lore is that they became too intelligent for their own good, so we banished them from the city, and they created their own little small city out of these crates, shipyard crates out here, and this is where they're living. And they're growing illegal plants, as you can tell. These are outlawed from the city, too. <laughs> you know, this is what I think makes worlds more interesting. When you create, like, little lore like this, it gives it a purpose, a reason why it's here. Things aren't just randomly built. So anyway, yeah, um, yeah, I'm just gonna put another one of those guys in here and this is just gonna be another, like, maybe server thing that they upload intelligence into their brains from, you know? <laughs> here comes the fun part. What's that? That's what it was. Give me that seed. Wait, what? Where's the seed? Y'all just heard that, right? Or was it you? Hmm. Wow, he didn't drop a seed. That's interesting. But the fun part is, is finding my shulker chest that I placed somewhere randomly in my entire world that holds my map screens. I feel like Batman up here. I keep forgetting about that. That's a good lore piece to create. Maybe, uh, even though I pretty much own this city, I also fight crime here. And I need to get like a, a mask for my slime. And I wear my elytra wings and swoop from building to building and fight crime. And then I can have graffiti of me up in places. Slime man. No, not slime man. Where's my shulker boxes? The laboratory? Oh, no, I know where they are. This place, right? Here, oh, no, they're in here. If you didn't catch last episode, I still want to tinker with it. I'm actually not a fan how this turned out. It looks lackluster. That's where I go to get my memories uploaded. No, just kidding. That's just my little intelligence room for home in case I can't make it to the lab. All right, who is going to be the T1I golem living in solitude outside of the town. Raccoon man. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, there it is. I put some boxes on the outside. Maybe he comes out every once in a while and digs around in some boxes he stole. You know how it is. Yeah, oh, there he is. Look how cozy his interior is. Look at this chair, by the way. I love this chair design for larger individuals such as golems. Got the wire here to connect. Kind of like Cyberpunk. I did just get done with the Cyberpunk playthrough. That's always a fun game. Here you go, T1I Raccoon Man. Maybe they self-identify as normal people since they're becoming so intelligent. So he sees himself as a man. But he also loves raccoons, apparently. Sweet, I'm all up to date on the villager stuff. I, I, just a satisfying feeling in the this book right here. You know what I also forgot? Look at that, nature. That's sad. Get it! 
Come on, you can do it. Wow, you suck. What's that chest? I'm curious. Oh, I know this chest. This chest is actually from Pocket Edition. Can you believe that? It has dirt in it. This is when, uh, none of this was even out here. I don't even think I had the lab out here. I don't think. Or maybe I did, but we had these. These were considered epic mountains back in Pocket Edition. And I sort of flattened them out on the top because I pictured building something up here when this was all empty out here. Can you believe that these were considered epic mountains back then? It's crazy. But the thing I forgot is when we started populating the lab a bit, as you know, we put a lot more villagers in here, and I just got done, well, before that, putting names in here. So we have, this is the archives, of course. Where is it? SSC employees. I went through my whole lab and wrote down every employee I had, oh, in the city as well who are under the SSC Corporation. Put them in here. I gotta update this already. I just like my paperwork being up to date. This is gonna take some time though. Should I do it now? Okay, this is a perfect segue into when I wanna do this. I really wanna start streaming, okay? I don't think I'm gonna do face cam. This is what has taken me so long to decide this. I wanted to start streaming with my face because I don't know, I, I, I feel like it would connect. Oh my God, I needed some of this. I feel like it would connect with you guys more, but I don't need to. Um, so, eventually when I start streaming, I hope it's soon, I've just been dragging it on for too long. I want these streams to be designed around me just running around my world, fixing up things, you guys just viewing what I would normally do when I'm not recording, but while I do it, I can interact with you guys, talk. So stuff like that down there is what I'd prefer to do <laughs> when I stream or whatever. I don't even think it's a con- okay, so, the biggest thing I'm wanting to get set up is maybe when you guys ask a question through maybe a donation, it pops up on the screen. I don't know how to do any of that, and that's what I wanted to get set up. Now that I'm thinking of it, I don't have to do it like that because I probably won't get a lot of viewers. I can just answer questions within the chat. And yes, I would be streaming on YouTube, not Twitch. So, I'm not saying this is like a soon thing, I just, I think I just gotta gain the balls to, you know, set it up and press start stream. <laughs> no, it's scarier than you think for someone like me is because I've never done it. All my video, I'm so used to recording. See, like I take pauses. Sometimes I cut those pauses out and knowing that I'd be streaming and like not being able to pause, it uh, just, it kind of irks me a little bit, but uh, yeah. What am I doing? I'm walking around doing nothing. I don't think I would do much else today, to be honest. I'm gonna help him at the bar while I answer some, oh, actually thank some donors first. Such as Ryan Browning, once again. The man, the myth, le oh. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to go decorate his tomb. Wait, didn't I already do that? Okay, we gotta go home. Ryan Browning with a massive 60, never failing to disappoint. Truly up there with some of the biggest supporters in my world. Burger Man, Riffs, now Ryan. I think they're the top three. It's insane. And I know I have a lot of other supporters too. I don't wanna keep people on a tier list of who's better than the other. Everyone is just as amazing if you donate and help this channel out. That looks pretty cool. I like how that turned out. But yes, Ryan, thank you once again for that. That is unbelievable. Super kind. And Charles Brown, once again as well, with a pretty big donation. Thank you, Charles. You're getting up there too. You've been donating. Such kind souls, that's all I can really say. I'm glad you guys are still enjoying the content enough to donate stuff like that. Speaking of, this place is so out of date now. I, I think I've decided I don't think I'm going to do signs anymore. It's just too much on my world. Did I already come through here and... No, I didn't. Wait, I thought I came through here and waxed all these. I didn't. Oh, and I was supposed to come through and get rid of all the color. Or the glow. Because you can still read it. It's not as impressive, but cut down on the lag. Oh, I know it's... <laughs> Oh, gosh. I've fallen so behind. Okay, so we finished a book there, and we just finished another one. If you don't remember, we've had a creeper blow up in here. And I lost the first one, which is right here. Which shouldn't, and I mean absolutely shouldn't, delete the book. It should be like a shulker box. If a creeper blows it up, it just drops on the ground. But that one got completely deleted from our world. We're running out of room here. Was it this one? Okay. Got another book there. And now I've waited too long, so I'm gonna to have to go fishing through episodes to find the right episode where I can copy all the names down. See, that's another thing I can do while I'm live streaming. As well as starting a new book here, Kevin, Nigel, and Nateb. That sounds 
oddly familiar, but a pretty big donation as well. Thank you, Kevin, Nigel, Natab. I can't remember. I think you said you're from Sweden, Netherlands, somewhere around there. Sorry, I can't remember. I might be wrong too, but thank you. And Fabian, Fabian Fassen. Fabian Fassen, or maybe it was you, <laughs> with a kind donation. Thank you as well, Fabian. And I did read your message. I do read all the messages, but I sadly just don't do shout outs on my channel. I'm sorry, even if it's for a very good cause. It's just something I've kind of stuck to. It's like in my roots, like I haven't done any paid promotions or commercial ad breaks or anything like that. I really want to stick to just pure vanilla Minecraft gameplay. It almost, it was hard for me to even go down the road of doing donations because I felt like it really took away from the vanilla Minecraft experience. Like, I've already been talking for like five, six minutes about donations and stuff, and maybe, but I've gotten so used to it by now. Is it this one? Ryan, my man, what should we give you? Huh, what do you want to collect, Ryan Browning? You know, you know what's weird? <laughs> it's that you have these ancient crypts with your names in them. Riffs, Ryan Browning, Casey McClara. Burgerman, Pathfinder, and then you have all your villagers out in the world somewhere, so... Or maybe it's just your ancestors. You all just carried on the same name. E exactly the same name. <laughs> so the thing with this is, is if I want to use blocks, blocks would be easier because I can just place them all throughout the room, but I don't have many, like... I guess they don't have to be high-value blocks, it's just whatever they collected. I could do items. I was thinking about doing armor trims with browning, but I would have to use a lot of item frames. You know, I could probably update Casey's now that I realized, yeah, these are all normal pots before we got the sherds. Okay. Well, or maybe it looks more... No, yeah, I need to put them in there because... Oh, I like the way this looks. This looks like, like they're kind of degrading a little bit. They've been in here forever. But all right, uh, what do you have? I'm getting so distracted, I keep forgetting. Okay, you're just like jewels and stuff. But Ryan, I think you are going to be a swords guy. So, maybe I can change these up a bit. I guess I don't need the top shelf. While I'm doing this, today's common question is from Aaron. Dash CB4LC. Hey Dallas, what's your favorite season? As in summer, winter, etc. And why? Ooh, okay. Man, see, I, it's like I love every season, but I feel like when a season is active, like right now, summer, you start missing the other seasons when you're in this season for too long. But once the other season arrives, you're like, oh crap, now I missed the last season. But you know what, no, I've been really into summer lately, and I think summer, everyone just loves summer because there's just so much to do. But I also crave fall, that 60, 70 degree weather, the sweater weather, the crunchy leaves, the pumpkins, the spookiness, Halloween stuff. Oh my gosh, I crave that as well. But it only lasts for so long, it sucks. And sometimes during summer, I miss the winter and the only thing I miss about the winter is like wearing jackets and stuff like I'm, I'm I'm I like fashion and stuff and you can't really I have nice jackets like I like my jackets but you can't really wear them well you can during fall I guess but once winter comes it's you just realize okay I enjoyed the first snowfall which only snowed like once last time or last year which sucked but then once it just stays cold you're like okay this just really sucks because you're indoors all the time and <laughs> there's nothing to do and I really have been getting into like swimming this year and golfing, like I'm really getting into golfing and it's all at the end of the season, which really sucks. So this winter is gonna be rough for me. I'm just gonna be sitting inside just waiting for, well, this is a good, I think the uh, one thing I really love about winter though is you can really start focusing on games more. I'm a big gamer. I, I like Xbox gaming. That's my passion, that's my joy. This is not enough, Ryan, I am sorry. I gotta, <sighs> This is something I need to like tinker on when I'm live streaming. Now I really want to, oh, I have these here. Now I really want to live stream because I feel like I could just talk to you guys and get ideas from you live. Okay, I'm really going to try to get it set up, guys. Don't you worry. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and end this here. I'm going to get this figured out maybe or save it for when I do that. Where did that go? Did I get that back? I have no more swords. Thank you everyone for watching and thank you guys for those very, very generous donations. I'll see you in the next episode. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. Am I? I feel like I am. I don't know. Bye-bye. <laughs>